One of the fastest and easiest ways to hand build with clay is through the use of coils. Coils are long, snake-like pieces of clay that have a uniform thickness that spans their entire length. If rolled correctly, coils should be very plastic or soft and flexible and usable to create a variety of simple to complex forms. Rolling coils is fairly easy, but requires patience, practice, perseverance, and consistency. Start with clay that has already been wedged and checked for air pockets. Once your clay is clear of the air pockets, slap it back together firmly, wedge it a couple of more times to bond it back together, and prepare your space for rolling coils. You will need a length of damp, not soaking wet paper towels to wrap your coils in so they remain plastic while you make them all. Being smaller pieces of clay than a larger block, coils tend to dry out quickly and become too difficult to work with. Simply wrapping your coils in damp paper towels will prevent this. You'll also need a spray bottle with clean water to wet your canvas. It is best to work on a canvas or other porous surface so that the clay will not stick to it as you are rolling. Begin by lightly misting your canvas with the clean water. You don't need it to be very wet. A light covering works well. From your wedged block, tear off a chunk of clay that fits comfortably inside your fist. Work with small amounts of clay, like this, one at a time. Compress the clay in your hand by squeezing it tightly. This will ensure there are no air pockets at all in the clay. Compress the clay a few times in this manner. Spend a bit of time smoothing out each end of the clay portion with your fingers. This will ensure that the ends of your coils are rounded and will not fray as you roll them. Remist your canvas lightly with the spray bottle of clean water. When you roll coils, you need to use your entire hand. Roll the clay from the tip of your fingers to the bottom of your palm. Use the whole length of your hand. This will make sure that the clay is rolling all the way around, making the coil a smooth cylinder. If you do not use the entire length of your hand, the coil will not roll all the way around and will end up being square. Square coils are too difficult to build with. As you're rolling the clay, you need to apply light, but firm, even pressure on the clay. Press down gently as you're rolling the coils. A light, firm pressure must be used or your coils will never roll out. Clay may start out being square and harder to work with. This is common, just keep at it. Be persistent and forgiving of yourself as you learn and practice. As long as you are using the entire length of your hand as you roll and you are applying a light, even pressure, the coils will eventually smooth out into cylinders. You can work just one spot of the clay at one time or move your hand across the entire length of the coil back and forth as you go. Either method will work. I do not, however, recommend rolling coils with two hands. If you use two hands, you could potentially have uneven pressure, pressing down too much with one hand and not as much with the other. That would result in a coil that is thicker on one side and thinner on the other. I recommend using only one hand when rolling coils. Roll the coils in this way until the entire length of the coil is a smooth cylinder and is the same thickness throughout the entire length. The length of the coil is not important. We can use any length of coil, long or short, to build with. What is important is that the thickness of every coil you roll is as close to exactly the same as possible. Watch as I repeat the process again as I roll another coil. Tear off a small portion from your wedged block and compress it in your fist. Smooth each end of the chunk of clay with your fingers. Lightly mist your canvas with a spray bottle of clean water. Roll the coil using the entire length of your hand from the tip of your fingers to the bottom of your palm. Apply light but firm, even pressure as you roll the coil. Persevere through the stage where your coil is square until it is a smooth cylinder. Make sure your coil has an even thickness through its entire length so that when you build with them, your form will gain height evenly. You want each coil to be about half the size of your thumbnail in diameter. You don't need to measure this, just eyeball it. Just to show you that the coil will not crack or break and it is very plastic and flexible because it was rolled on the damp canvas, I have wrapped this coil around my wrist. You do not need to do this. I am just showing you how flexible and versatile it is for building. 
Immediately after you finish rolling the coil, place it on the damp paper towel and wrap it all the way around. This will keep your coils from drying out as you make more. Watch the technique and process from different angles as I roll more coils.